uh, fantastic. We've got a uh, the world's largest EV took to the road recently, and uh, this is at a uh, a mining operation on the t on top of a mountain. So get this, it's got a six hundred kilowatt hour battery pack in it. Is that and, all? And <laughs> and this this unit once it's been charged once will never have to be recharged again going forward. Now, and it's mining that like, and and that's, and that's what I was thinking. How is that possible? Because this unit works on top of a mountain. They're mining the top of a mountain. They're putting, uh, they're filling the box with uh, limestone, and then this truck proceeds to go down a thirteen percent grade, uh, and all the way along that grade, it is of course regenning and storing that energy back in a six hundred kilowatt hour battery pack. So by the time it gets to the base of the mountain, where it's ultimately going, it dumps its load, it turns around, and it heads up the mountain again, this time minus the load. So it takes less energy to go up the hill, and it uses what was stored in it from going down the hill. So in effect, this EV will never have to be charged again as it runs its daily operation. It just it's goes like up the hill, and it charges down the hill. Machine. Exactly. Kind of reminds me of the story we did here on What Drives Us uh, some time ago about the rail cars that are filled with rocks and would go down uh, a slope and regen all the way and save energy. And then um, they would uh, push them back up the hill when energy was cheap. This kind of, kind of the same thing, this with the truck. So what's, uh, what's very cool with this truck uh, as well is uh, its sheer size, obviously. <laughs> yes. uh, and it's, uh, <laughs> and it's uh, just like a regular mining truck, um, except it's not going to burn any fuel. So uh, kudos to the mining company for figuring this out mm -hmm. and uh, putting it into a production run. Now, the question is, is whether they will uh, put – they obviously have more than one truck running – uh, but uh, right now, the others are still the diesel versions. But uh, obviously, if if uh, the test goes well, uh, I'm sure it makes complete sense just to switch to EVs as time goes along or those other trucks become out of service. So uh, great, great for the mining company. And what a perfect application for an, uh, an EV. Yeah, I remember them saying that they had planned to do this uh, sometime late, late, late last year. I was like, well, if the numbers work out, it'd be great. And it's, it's awesome to see they actually built it and it's in service now. Exactly. Yeah. And I was, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's good that it regens enough and in some cases more than enough. Because I was reading through the article and I started doing the math in my head on how long it would take to charge a 600 kilowatt hour pack. <laughs> on, <the market. laughs> on a 110 outlet? Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> right. Right, on a 110 outlet. Just <laughs> get it over there, because, Herb. Yeah, when, when the guy's done with his job, he just drives home and puts it in the driveway and plugs it into his garage. Right, yeah. Right. Kind <laughs> of need a real supercharger for that one. <laughs> yes. But, of course, yeah, I mean, this, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, can't say enough how great it is that there's literally a vehicle that never needs to refuel. It refuels itself. So, on the mega charger, it would get done in 30 minutes. Okay, there you go. <laughs> if you could find a mega charger. If you could, yeah, we'll park one right there. <laughs> right. At the top of the mountain. I, it, I mean, it, this is a very specific use scenario. Obviously, this isn't going to work for every dump truck at every mine, right? right but right. it's really cool that they found something like this. They designed it, they built it, and it works. Yeah. That's just shows it, if with the right amount of ingenuity, uh, that we can solve these problems. We don't have to just, it's easy to throw a diesel truck in there, it is. but there are better solutions if we think about it. But look at it this way. A lot of the other mines are the reverse of this. So they start at the top empty. They go down into the pit, they come back up. Full. Oh yeah. So if, if this thing can handle several runs, you just have a, have a recharging station at the top of the hill and they're good to go. Run by a diesel generator. No, no. <laughs> that's when I first saw this, that was my fear was like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't tell me there's like some big generator in this thing. It generates electricity and, you know, uh, and, uh, 
just some of the information from the article, it indicates that a, a typical dump will use somewhere between 11 and 22,000 gallons of diesel fuel per year. Wow. So uh, this this unit will this single unit will save up to 196 metric tons of carbon dioxide uh, gas per year. That's really good. Um, so uh, yeah, so interesting, interesting, uh, and uh, it'll be it'll be interesting to see if they actually move on with replacing those other diesels as time goes along. Mm-hmm. 